everyone. So um, I'm in the UK right now for the UK tour. Um, it is going on this week. I'll just throw the dates up here just in case you're interested in stopping by. It's going to be me, Nikki, uh, Jasmine Garcia. Super excited to see her. I haven't seen her for a while. And um, Lex and Lady and David Wade and Dermshark Cruz. So it's going to be Noel, uh, Dan Crane, and Ben. And we are all going to be in London, Edinburgh, and Dublin. So I'm super excited. Hope to see you guys out there. Um, honestly, by far, the meeting you guys is the most motivating thing for me for YouTube. Um, seeing you guys face to face and seeing that I actually make an impact on like real people um, is just incredible. So thank you for that. This is really impromptu, by the way. So sorry if it seems awkward. Um, I kind of just wanted to talk about a couple of things. Uh, first one being that I I apologize because I probably should have done this before my last video because it's really confusing and I had a lot of comments of people being confused and almost like upset that I kind of uploaded the video later and then it didn't really make sense so I apologize for that. Um, I just wanted to say that um, just to like put the rumors to rest or whatever, Jeff and I did break up. Um, this happened a month ago now so it's been a while. Um, I'm kind of a private person as you guys know as it is so I'm not one to immediately like not like there's anything wrong with it or whatever each person does what they're comfortable with doing but um, I didn't really feel comfortable throwing up a video right away or like, letting people know right away it's just kind of a personal thing for me um, and all I kind of wanted to say was that we did break up um, the apartment tour that I put up was the place that I was living in I loved it I was really excited about living there um, but I, when we broke up, I decided that I would not live there anymore. So Jeff is living there and I'm moving to Toronto after my travels. Um, so it's just been pretty convenient that I've just been traveling this entire time. Um, and I, as of right now, I don't really have a place, but I'm looking for places in Toronto. Jasmine's gonna help me out because she's been living there, as you guys know. So just, I'm so excited, honestly, like Toronto. I've been there twice and each time it's been like, I'm just so happy when I'm there and I just love the city. And I always said like, my whole life I've always said I wanted to live in Toronto so the fact that it's happening s sooner is great for me um, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm okay um, and that obviously it's been like a kind of roller coaster of a last month and a bit um, especially with the traveling and you guys would have saw seen on my Instagram post that I've been like had the worst luck with traveling ever literally like I never heard of anyone having worse luck one of the <laughs> missed flights was my fault and the rest was just a snowball of bad luck it just it was just bad luck honestly but um it's all good now and i'm just kind of like sorting out what i want to do with my life what makes me happy um my main, my most important thing is to be independent and to be um to look after myself and to do what makes me happy so honestly i've made a few selfish decisions in the last month um very selfish ones ones that i'm not used to making i've never i've always I am not really great at putting myself first. I've always done things to kind of make other people happy, whether it be my parents or like relationships or whatever. So this is this is the start for me of something new. I'm just excited for life. I'm so happy. I'm ready to kind of like grow and change as a person, like straight, stay true to myself, of course, but to just really grow, travel, um, learn about the world and meet new people. With regards to the, my relationship with Jeff, like, but I just didn't feel like it was the right thing for me at that time. Sometimes things can look so perfect from the outside um, and they can seem perfect even like while you're in the relationship they can seem like everything's okay but in reality there can be things going on that just like compound over time to the point where you don't really notice they're happening and then at one point you just realize that it isn't really working. Um, so it was it was fairly mutual. Um, I was the one who kind of initiated this breakup but uh, it's something that we've talked about in the past and it could have easily been the other way around. Um, Jeff and I talked about that so uh, yeah I just kind of wanted to let you guys know I thought that at this point in time I felt comfortable sharing it with you and it just the, like the need to be like introverted and shy sometimes and hide a little bit happens so um, I hope you guys can forgive me and I hope this helps you understand a little bit what's going on and I hope you can just trust me and be happy for me because um, I'm I'm kind of just living my life according to my own terms and that's the most important thing for me and if I can make things easier on other people obviously I'll do that I'm not being totally selfish but um, just kind of like I'm trying to put myself first making life decisions and so far uh, my family and friends have been insanely supportive of me shout out to Emily Duncan you're the best I love you um, and yeah so that's kind of
kind of it. Uh, yeah, so here's a New York vlog. I know it's late. I know I suck. Um, like I said, YouTube is going to be my priority now. Just putting that out there so um, you can expect to see more frequent vlogs and you can expect to see them sooner after the events have transpired. That is my goal. Um, please forgive me for uh, being late with them. Um, I'm still kind of getting used to this all. I know I have a lot of subscribers. Thank you guys, by the way. Um, but it kind of happened without me adjusting as quickly, if that makes sense, to having that many subscribers and being a YouTuber. So hopefully um, you guys can forgive me. Hopefully you understand. Hopefully you trust me and my decisions and um, you can be happy for me. That's all I ask for. And I love you guys. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. Bye. Done. Athletic wear. Non athletic wear. Pretty well cleaned out. Tempted to buy this right now. One whole egg, egg white omelet. Hello, so I made it here into the hotel room finally after five hours of waiting down in the lobby. It feels good to have police to put my stuff and to lay down, although I haven't um, laid down yet. I haven't got a chance to sleep. I'm still going on the same day. And now we're just heading out to, we're gonna go get food and then we're gonna go get pictures for Instagram just to make sure that everyone knows like where we're going to be in Times Square, what landmark. So that's the agenda. I have a wild Nikki Blackadder with me. Yes. <laughs> there is Pokemon involved. Yes. I'll buy that. That was four weeks ago. Oh, is this the green? Mine. Also this one. I'd snap that. <laughs> yeah. Um Nikki N I K K I. We're near where Casey's office is. We're in Casey's time lapse. So Wait, we are still. Oh, yeah, it's aiming there. Yeah, it's right there. Casey! <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. So it's the day of the meetup. Yay! For Gymshark. So we're going to be down in Times Square at 12 today. And right now, um, I'm just meeting the Gymshark crew to go eat breakfast. I actually was down with them at night and then I forgot. I lack those pills and the camera, so I can't have to get it. Ew, that's a lot of bacon and sausage. This, this, is, this is on your diet, this is what you've told me to eat. Not I did not tell you to eat that. I did not. <laughs> just, just, just
just a disclaimer. <laughs> Diva problems, princess problems, Texan cowboy problems. <laughs> So the meetup is done. We got Successful. changed into non-gym clothes. Yeah. And right, we're ready cool. to go. Nice looking. Yeah, you look camera. Pretty. Your camera's way nicer. This is my outfit. I have on a dress that's from Forever 21. Ribbed dress. It was probably like 10 bucks. And a choker from Forever 21. This one's brown. And then this jacket is from American Apparel. Just to cover up if I need it. And then I have on Adidas uh, Superstars. This is Nikki. Francesca's. Mm -hmm. This is from Urban Outfitters. Cute little lace bralette. These are from H&M. Ooh, nice. Oh, just and just some slip-ons. And the choker. Oh yeah, this is, I stole this from my friend. I don't know where this is from. So we're at the restaurant with We have Nikki. David, Ben, Quinn, Lex. And this is my food, shrimp salad. This is mango. It looked like mustard when I first saw it. And then I had some bread for carbs. We come to a railway that you can walk on, literally. That's it. Ooh, this is cool. This is dope. I like this. Really? That's kind of cool. Too. It's a path. It's okay. Like it's, we have loads of these. It's new something to do. Love We've got this everywhere. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> I like this. You need to go to the Lake District and York. If you want to see a castle, York is literally a walled city. And then you walk again. And walk again. I need a drink too. Good. You need a drink. Yeah, really bad. Right, we're all on the same yeah. page. Then. You know what? I need a sugar drink as well. Yeah. I love sugar. So Nikki and I got a bandit. So naturally we walk over and we're enjoying I have strawberry stiletto. It's really good for dairy free. I forgot my dairy pills. And Nikki is enjoying some delicious chocolate and hazelnut and no pandas. Absolutely gorgeous. You need to do it above the table. Um, Alright. Stop. 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 Oh, it's a two diamonds again. That's weird. That it's not weird, weird, is it? Is that weird? Say, just to say stop. Is it weird? Stop. It's not weird. There. Stop. There. See the six of six of clubs? Yeah. I'll take the six. Put it roughly there. Take a corner right here. The six of diamonds. It's a six, but not the same six. Now watch what we're gonna do. Ready? You take it. You just got pop two cards there. I'm your. I am. 
the most intelligent person you've ever met. <laughs> oh no. Can you not feel my meatballs? Don't test me. Noel is savage. You guys don't sassy. even know. Sassy, there's a difference. Noel is not sassy, he's no. savage. Like the definition of savage. Because yeah. I kind of, because to be fair, no, that's why I doing, doing magic tricks is kind of like a video offering, I suppose. 